So what we're doing here is a very accurate setup of British Railways. While I'm role-playing as British Railways and making decisions based on stuff I think they would do, I have set the time frame for 1960 and therefore modernization plan time. Um, so that's going to be fun. If we scroll out, you can see uh, what I found is that someone modded in. There. You can make maps in this game. I've never done it myself because I don't have time for that. But someone actually made a loose map of the UK as well as Northern Ireland. Uh, so we are... This is a full-tier, hyper-realistic simulation. Now, it's, it's often assumed that British Rail makes nothing but bad decisions. That's not necessarily true. Um... You know, they're not complete idiots. Okay. Let's start. Let's actually buy some vehicles. So, this is 1960, so some still, there were some steamers still out there. So I think it's fair to put a few things that we have to destroy later uh, on the line, just because. Witness the British Rail logo as it churns on by. Very exciting. Very exciting. We have the leader class here, uh, with a terrible model. It's the only one that I found, though, unfortunately. Uh, but the leader is, the leader is moving. Uh, we have the Evening Star 9F on the line, because it would have been still at this time. That's right, people, I must demolish your homes for the good of Britannia. It's very important. Was British Rail headquartered in London? That's a good question. Like, that's one of those things that sounds correct, but I know better <laughs> than to just assume that. Okay, we'll change. British Railways. See, I kind of forgot that trains can't just come and go down the same line, you know? No, they cannot! <laughs> that's... Like many vehicles, they cannot, in fact, encompass... In fact, like many pieces of matter, they cannot, in fact, occupy the same space. <laughs> Am I not allowed to dance? I'm allowed to dance. I must dance. I must dance. The dance cannot be stopped. I believe this is about the time the uh, Flying Scotsman's going away, so it's time to replace him with something easily. That's a perfect replacement for the Flying Scotsman is Class 17, excellent. That's, I don't know why, I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. Really. And the Flying Scotsman is nothing compared to the Class 17. You know, it's, it's, it's actually the perfect replacement, really, if you don't think about it at all. Ooh, the Duke of Gloucester, I mean Gloucester. I mean, I don't know how to say that word, it's Gloucester, apparently. Even though it looks nothing, nothing like Gloucester. This word has been debated by existence, but I have un my understanding that it's actually pronounced Gloucester. There's like a dozen letters, there's, there's like four letters here that don't need to be here. But, whatever. Navy Dog, who's a big, who is the biggest piece of British trash train in game? Well, the 17 probably, because the 21 isn't actually in the game as a mod or at all. Um, no one's ever modded that thing. Uh, probably because they couldn't figure out how to exactly mod the whole bursting into flames part of it. Alright, so, as you can see, British Rail was very much ahead of the curve. Um, though they only patented it in the 70s, in the year, in, uh, December 6, 1963, their beautiful, magnificent UFO army took to the air, which caused an internal error on my computer, uh, and crashed the game. <laughs> Okay, so the game did not like the UFO. <laughs> See, what, what, what it is, is that British Rail's flying saucer was so ahead of its time that time itself couldn't handle it. And the reason why you didn't see them is that they existed outside of the fabric of existence because of the forbidden knowledge of nuclear fusion and magnetic deflection 
Got a, got a, uh, you know, Sea Link Ferry. That's imperative for British Rail. Smash it. Just smash it. We don't need any of it. These tracks don't exist anymore. This is called the Beaching Cut. The sophisticated lost art of the ancient English handed down by the great kings of yore. I hear that King Henry VIII was the first one to use a beaching cut on his wives. <laughs> it just dawned on me this train has been stuck inside of its shed anyway, so it literally wasn't even operating the line no matter what. <laughs> it never got out because I because, because I screwed up the uh, order of sen <laughs> There was no... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd... Oh, man. Okay, that's uh, that's just scrap time. Anyway, so, as you can see, we have used a reasonable amount of public tax dollars to purchase an esteemed amount of Class 17 diesels. They are state-of-the-art. And if any of them fail, it is because... You didn't believe in them hard enough. So, now is the time for us to unite for Great Britannia with the mighty power of the Class 17. The new diesel electric truly is the height of British rail technology. It actually sounds like a beehive, like a buzzing noise. It's really great sound, really, when you think about it. It's just... That's the, the sound it makes. It's never really stop. Deltic's just sitting here like, dude, why? Why didn't you just buy more of me? I'm actually good. What are these, anyway? It's an army of Horrors. Yeah, there's too many. They're stuck. There's... It, I, I did it again. There's... They, they, they can't... They, there's there's too many of them. They, they, they all broke down is really what happened. They all stopped working. Uh, all, all at the same time. It's just a, it's a normal thing that happens. Well, it's time to beach and cut this out of here. Um... <laughs> Ta-da! Ah, excellent. It's rolling out of the... Uh, rolling right out of the... There we go. That's... That's, uh... Behold the wonders of British Rail and their UFO. So I, I I said its route between Dublin and London, but in reality it would be interplanetary and British Rail would conquer the stars, I imagine. <laughs> it makes tiny beeping noises too. <laughs> oh, I am so glad this mod exists. <laughs> This is the UFO 4 XXL Mothership. Now, Duck, <laughs> this thing costs almost a billion dollars according to the game. I have some. It is literally. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect Independence Day levels of size. Wait, the mothership! It literally- oh, oh my goodness. This is- this is what British Rail wanted. <laughs> it makes Reaper from Mass Effect sound effects, Duck. I think this was a mistake. And the, the little one just makes old school 1950s woo <laughs> oh, You can't even see the mini one in comparison. I know! <laughs> you see, the Empire was on the decline. And so British Rail saw fit to find new worlds to conquer and colonize. Using their new power of nuclear fusion. VR, look towards the stars. And instead of building a railway, they would build a spaceway. Oh my god, I just have my little ferry boat back here. Just like, yeah, I, I exist. 
How are we looking on finances? Yes, every line is failing. Excellent. Behold, British populace! The power and wonder of British Ray! <laughs> A shadow has been cast upon London. It is a monster of its own creation. <laughs>